Another great song. Another two and a half minutes closer to a new year. You're tuned in to Daydream Radio, your choice to see out 1958. An eventful year. Don't worry, though. I have plenty of amazing records on the cards here tonight. So buckle up as we venture back through the ages and rediscover some timeless classics. <laughs> Welcome to Daydream Radio. It is New Year's Eve. Oh, I don't want to go with you. Why can't I go with you, Papa?
wandering off with your head in the clouds. Guess you haven't had much luck on your so-called supply run. We gotta find your grandfather's place before nightfall. Get your ass back down here and we'll get back on the water. <laughs> Look, I understand you wanting to get in some sightseeing, having never set foot outside of that hippy-dippy camp. Though, at least the place was somewhat civilized. Don't expect anyone or anything we meet in this place to stand on ceremony. I don't mean to nag, but whenever you're ready, sweetheart. There ain't many of us left. You'd think that'd make people want to look out for each other, but... Seldom is that the case. Most survivors mean trouble, and this rust bucket's giving me all the trouble I need, thanking you kindly. Oh, damn. It's nuts all but threadbare. Let's hope she doesn't die on us before we find your grandfather's place. There you are, kid. Oh, what took you so long? Figured you met someone at happy hour. Hurry, get back on board. Well, thank you for gracing us with your presence. Better late than never, I guess. While you've been off playing chief scout, I managed to give this old girl some love. She better get us to your grandfather's. Ugh, this place gives me the heebie-jeebies. All right, I think we're close, but let's double check. Hey, kid, hit play on that last message from your grandfather, will you? Asher, it's your grandfather, John. If you're listening to this, then no doubt I'm long gone. But I've done my best to leave you everything I have. It's all in an apartment in Boston's North End. It's... A bad bounce, but if you look for the old water tower, then head west, you'll find Picard Street. Should be a clean shot, right to the doorstep. Look for number 88, top floor. Keep your head on a swivel. This world is no picnic, but it may get a whole lot brighter if you can make it to my apartment in one piece. All right, we gotta find that old water tower, then find that street. Uh, Picard, was it? Keep your eyeballs peeled. Oh, I'll take a gander at all this. It looks like the morning after a big shindig at the Waldorf. 
I hope you weren't expecting to meet your soulmate down here, kid. Ain't much left for scavengers. Water tower. All right, let's head west. Hmm, now that's a tight squeeze. Whoop, like my wedding dress. Don't even get me started on marriage. Hey, th there's a street sign. What does it say? Picard Street. Great. Oh, damn. What is that? Is that a tent? Talk about a curveball. You think there are people here? Nah. Oh, it looks deserted, right? Yeah, there's no way people live here. There's no picture show. Anyway, let's shake a leg. Let's find 88. Kid, looks like we're in for a real shit storm. Who is this that means to choke our mother's realm with blackest smoke? A pair of cursed beasts that make it cursed beasts of oil and iron. You forfeited this world. Forfeit now your right to walk upon it. Your people will call the rats and roaches master. Even the smallest microbe will have its revenge for what you did. Good God, what kind of freak show? What makes you so special, huh? Think your fancy dress costumes let you off the hook? Oh, hell, Crocs! Damn! Great timing! The boat won't start! Hang on to your tidy whities kid. I'll fix the boat. Cover me from those oversized handbags. We take too much of a beating from them and we're sunk. Wonderful. Here they come. Exit strategy. Um, uh, here, here, take this crowbar and crack open that old emergency kit. Gotta be something in there we can use. <sighs> oh, flare gun. Time to use it, I guess. But on what? Looking for a couple of marshmallows to roast? Wait, wait, those barrels! Yes, shoot the damn barrels! What are you looking for? A couple of marshmallows to roast? Wait, wait, those barrels! Yes, shoot the damn barrels!
continue on and do your decoy. You need to get to the apartment on foot. Make for the apartment. Stay low, keep quiet. So long. Remember, it is far easier to start something than it is to finish it. Finish it, Asher.
security on mode. Use biometric hand scanner. Stage 1. Biometric hand identification was affirmative. Now initiating stage 2. Iris recognition scanner. Stand by. Stage 2 denied. Iris scanner obstructed. Please remove obstruction. Stage 2, Iris recognition. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you. Tomorrow, I'll miss you. Paul McCartney, lead singer of the Steve Doors. It's so dark in here. Why can't I feel my damn protuberances? Am I? Could I be? Buried alive? Oh, what a fate to befall a man! Just like the Edgar Allan Poe tale! This post was unreadable. Help! I'm in this confounded box! Follow my voice! <coughs> well, uh, hello, uh, uh, do I know you? Oh, uh, you'd be, uh, you're gonna have to forgive me. I'm normally the picture of lucidity. I'm well overdue for a wind-up. That a finger of scotch. Oh, hang it. Make that the whole fist. This may come across a lick familiar, but try putting me on your wrist. Ah, that's more like it. Now, Asher, is it? Your grandfather left me here for you, to be your confidant of sorts. My name is Samuel. Samuel, uh, just call me Sam. I can tell by the blank look on your face you've got questions. Well, you can start with tapping my face. Now, as you can see, I'm no ordinary fob watch or time trinket. My maker has endowed me with the ability to read between the lines, my friend. The lines being time and space. You following? Right. Tap that storage button. For my next trick, I have the capability to give you an extra hand. Literally. Now, uh, <coughs> It seems my previous owner burdened me with a fairly substantial item. If you would be so kind as to remove it, please. Whew, that's a weight off. Huh, certainly looks familiar, but uh, we'll park it for now. Should you want me to carry anything for you, just hold an item above my face and let it go. I'll do the rest. Wonderful. All right. Now, for me to become your pack mule, you'll need to upgrade my clockwork. Though, exactly how eludes me. Unfortunately, my mind, like that box I was in, is a bit dusty. But I have a feeling our union is fate. Now... Let's see. Oh, jeez, what happened? <laughs> Time has been cruel to this place. A modern electrified abode. Long forlorn. I wonder if we can get this place humming once more. Or at least get them lights on. Let's take a look around. Ah, uh, yes. That'll be your grandfather, all right. One John L. Newman. 
Let's seize the day, my friend. Then by seize, I mean let's get this place electrified. Ah, let's be the powers that be. Let's take control. There must be some kind of doohickey that will kickstart this old dwelling. Now that is impressive. Reinforced sapphire bound with a Rosenberg frame would fetch a pack at auction. Clearly designed to contain the uncontainable. A supernatural design to hold a supernatural prey. Well, let's stop stumbling around. We need to jumpstart this abode. Let's seize the day, my friend. Then by seize, I mean let's get this place electrified. Ah, let's be the powers that be. Let's take control. There must be some kind of do- Huh, an old ventilation duct. No lack of fresh air in here, though. Hold on, those Russian words. I think I can translate them. Congratulations to Mother Russia. First country to land on the moon. Wait, I know my memory's filled with cobwebs. But Russians were the first ones on the moon? Is that right? Well, let's stop stumbling around. We need to... Now that's a thing of beauty. Shame. Just needs a battery. Let's seize the day, my friend. Then by seize, I mean let's get this place electrified. Ah, yes, the wondrous television. I suppose we can see if it's working.
Ah, let's be... Well, would you look at them star signs? I'm a Sagittarius myself. Hilarious, fair-minded, honest, and intellectual. Star beamers. <laughs> Looks like a childish trinket. Well, let's stop stumbling around. We need to jumpstart this abode. A water-based, uh, rifle? Not what you'd want in a time of war. Unless you're fighting fire, of course. Let's seize the day, my friend. Then by seize, I mean let's get this place electrified. Oh, this door could be all that separates us from illumination. You're a bright enough spark to open a door. Try that as our friends across the Great Atlantic would say. This door has snuffed it. I could give her the kiss of life. That said, it'll cost me plenty in terms of my precious little energy. Tap the button just below my face, will you? I'll show you a parlor trick. <laughs> the sacrifices I make. Now, if you ever lost a stock, just push that button and I'll do my best to offer you counsel. All right, if you could kindly place me back on your wrist. Would you look at that? This looks like the kind of thing we could jumpstart a small town with. <laughs> Put thought to shame. Well, this is certainly going to help us. Nicely done. Well, you ain't just a pretty face then, huh? Looks like she's running on reserves. We need to boost this thing somehow. Required power threshold not sufficient. Adversity reveals genius. Prosperity conceals it. Horus 65 BC to 8 BC. Well, you won't find a better fit on Savile Row. You got a handle on this. Is that some sort of pattern? They can't just go in willy-nilly. Looks like you've connected up this contraption. 
<laughs> what an ordeal. I thought technology was supposed to make life easier. Not like you just rode a boat through syrup. Power online. Base level now at 50%. Bringing online tier 1 peripheries. <laughs> We're cooking. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, there's another thing. I'm gonna have to end our courtship. No, 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 no. Nothing to do with you being a Methodist. Your voice is starting to grate on me like I was a block of Gruyere. And away we go. Well, kid, if you're watching this, then you made it. Oh, this far, at least. And what I'm about to tell you might seem crazy, but... It's important that you understand what's about to happen next. This world you know, battered and broken, is... is not the world that was intended. There are those that believe humanity was always fated to destroy itself. They'll tell you this future will... will always be inevitable. But this is a lie. You see... We perceive time and space around us as fixed, a clock steadily ticking ever forward. However, the lines between the past, present, and future are an illusion. Nothing but a thin veil behind which lies the path to many possibilities. I have left you everything you need to put things right. But be careful. Not all is what it seems. You must finish what I could not. Trust the watch. Find his counterpart. <laughs> the old fool. Always was one for dramatic exits. Careful now, kid. You follow down his path and well. There's no coming back. House rules. Once the cards are cut, there will be no leaving the table. I'll be seeing you. <laughs> my word. That certainly got my attention. Who the hell was that second fella? A coot and a josser, I say. The cat to your grandfather's mouth. And I suppose we're now part of his, uh, <clears throat> pest problem. As for what to do next, your grandfather mentioned a counterpart. My counterpart. Let's find that. As for trying to put things right, well, uh, no pressure. Hobbit. What is that? Oh, well, well. Someone went to great lengths to keep this treasure hidden. Interesting. I'm guessing this is important. I know you ain't the help, son. But could you clean that picture off? It might reveal to us something about this counterpart we're looking for. Cosmonaut Alexei Leonov, a Russian? First man on the moon. And the date, it's circled, 1968. Well, that doesn't seem right. Huh, a battery might be important.
Now this looks important, though it's a little large to be my counterpart, but I'd hazard a guess that our fortunes are ingrained in this machine. Your grandfather certainly left this here for a reason. The cosmonauts, the vent, the painting. All the ingredients to a counterpart cocktail, I bet. Come on, we need to find a way to unscrew this situation to open that damn vent. Eureka, this looks intriguing. Star Famous? It looks like some kind of childish... Oh, bless my stars. This stuff is wildcat. A meaningless parade of signs and symbols. What bunk. And people lap it up. I ain't no ram or crab or cosmic archer. Looks like we're gonna have to find the meaning to these ourselves. Swipe code phase one accepted. Swipe code incorrect. She's back. <laughs> and still a real peach. Regardless, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but even a blind man can see you ain't doing too hot here, son. If you had a few more cogs in that thing you call a head, you would just let us in. Access granted. And remember, I know nothing with any certainty, but the sight of the stars makes me dream. Vincent Van Gogh. The sight of the stars makes me dream. 
Van Gogh saw plenty of stars, if you catch my drift. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> what a strange closet. <coughs> oh, you smoke? Oh, bad habit. But giving up smoking is the easiest thing in the world. I know, because I've done it thousands of times. And just like that, presto! Now that's a good read. A real page turner. Hello, old friend. This apparatus and I have history. It may not be the item your grandpa told us to find, but... It certainly has some part to play on this gala night. I think I'm the missing component here. Try putting me into the device. I'll be. I used to say, the two most important days in your life are the day you are born and the day you find out why. Well, I like to add a third. The day you realize you have a machine specifically made to upgrade you. <laughs> Woo -wee.
pin my tail and call me a donkey. I'm pleased to say I can now carry two items for you. You're welcome. Fancy that. You can give me a mighty fine makeover here. We'll go on. Pay the man, son. Eh, uh, well, actually. Looks like we will need to collect a few materials to make that happen. That's the ticket. Now to put this to use. I much prefer a screwdriver if I'm honest. And by screwdriver, I of course mean the drink. <sighs> Apologies. Yeah, I'm just venting. Having a good vent is healthy. Back in my day, in order to get married, you sometimes had to jump through a great variety of hoops to get the parents' approval. It was tiresome and trial-filled. I've seen a fair amount of men go crazy. Now this is crazy. Another password. Who does this? <sighs> Let's look around. Find the next hoop to jump through. My counterpart? It will be honest. How do I look? Presentable? Now, just put it on my so-called uh, nether regions, if you please. This thing, my counterpart, I, I think it belongs on the underside of my strap. Woo! Wait! That's got as much punch as my uncle's moonshine. <laughs> but then again, his stuff sometimes did make people go blind. This fragment thing, this antiquity fragment, it feels connected somehow. Try placing it into my counterpart, maybe. Something's... God dang happening! Jumping Jehoshaphat! We're out of this world! And not in the same chassis we left in. As curious as to where and when that fragment took us is how, son. You see, we're commandeering a person in this continuum. Not unlike the way somebody commandeered that silver bird. Let's hope we do a better job. Keep an eye out for anything you think could serve as an... This bird's in rough shape. Huh. Locked. Those metal clamps are fused together. We got more chance of getting frostbite in Hades than we have of cutting through them. We need some form of heavy-duty slicing apparatus. Let's back down the tent, son. Back to the sanctuary. Tap my counterpart.
That wireless looks like it's been incapacitated. Someone's tossed its parts around like rice at a wedding. Perhaps we can find a way to get it working. Find some answers to this mess. Busted. Perhaps we can get it going. Any chance of putting it back together? There's a sliver of a chance we can make plain what happened here and why. I say it's worth the effort. Eagle? This is Houston. We still have no response from you. Mission time on Moon now at 17 hours and 42 minutes. We presume the worst. Damn it. We can hear them, but they can't hear us. A cruel fate. No doubt orchestrated by this miscreant who saw fit to derail this expedition. Patching through President Nixon now. Good evening, my fellow Americans. Fate has ordained that the men who went to the moon to explore in peace will stay on the moon to rest in peace. And though the Soviets have accomplished putting the first man on the moon, know that for us Americans who dared send two of our sons into the unknown, sons who laid down their lives for our most noble goal, the search for truth and understanding. We will not give up. Every human being who looks up at the moon in the nights to come will know that there is some corner of another world that is forever mankind. Goodbye. Dang, this blasted radio is beyond repair. These poor souls. Thank you for lending us your eyes with which to see this catastrophe. And know that if we can change what happened here, we will. And if we can avenge your soul, we'll do that too. Dear God. What happened here? Who did this? This moment was meant to be our crown and achievement. We may not be alone. As much as I appreciate the scenery, I think we should find out why we're here and move. Dear God, what did we just see? Sabotage. Perhaps someone is meddling in time. My guess, the foe your grandfather mentioned. This was meant to be a crowning achievement. In tatters, an answer could be sitting in the compartment of that silver bird. We need to deal with them fused clamps. We're duty bound to find some answers.
Ah, you're gonna cut your way inside that silver bird. Let's do it. And don't dally. with a stomach full of misgivings. I invite you to find a use for them wire cutters. Perhaps we can change things yet. Well, open sesame. Knew these things would be good for something. Two antiquated fragments. Well, ain't this grand? Your grandfather certainly left some breadcrumbs. Well, after you. You need to see this. Huh. 
I don't think this is jewelry. Not my type, anyway. But it does look like it might be worth a few bob. Another piece of the pie, but to what? All right, we're getting somewhere. Might need more parts. Looks slightly incomplete. Civilization in ruins. The Mayans. Seemingly erased. I don't recall that from my history books. I'd surmise that someone has intervened.
green, so enchanting, so lonely. We're in Central America, son. Yure, up here! Days we've been traveling now. Not a sign of any natives to challenge us. And now this incredible temple! It will be my palace! You, my faithful servant, will have a living quarters that will be the envy of emperors. <laughs> have you opened the tomb yet? It's likely overflowing with gold. Did he say gold? How be damn. Sounds like we're a pair of tomb raiders. And no more chat about hidden traps and awakening spirits of the dead. I'll see if there's a way to open it from up here. This shape looks familiar. Let's find it a home. Home sweet home. Patience, patience, son. We're nearly there. And just keep your mind on what's on the other side. will have to be in two minds to track this one.
All right, so I'm not one for praying, but something tells me we need to get into that temple. Let's return to Takal, see if we can find a way in. I believe both antiquity fragments will be the key. Intriguing. This contraption is some kind of encoding machine. Your grandfather clearly intended for us to utilize this thing, but we might have to circle back on this one. Oh, I've always been a glass half full type of man myself, but that vial is just plumb empty. I think it's supposed to contain something before we'll see any fireworks. A hook? I like putting my feet in the stream and wishing on a succulent salmon as much as the next fella. But you'll need a rod to put this to any use. We're going fishing? <sighs> you got the right apparatus, son. All you need now is a steady hand. 